St. Anthony is many things to many people. Um, he is a, a preacher, a miracle worker, a best friend, a companion on the road and journey. St. Anthony is the person you pray to when you've lost or forgotten where you place something or something's missing or stolen. St. Anthony is many things to many people, but I think to me, St. Anthony is a man of God and he's always pointing to Jesus Christ. In the little ways that he served the communities where he lived across Italy, and he always wanted to be at the service of his brothers and sisters as well as Jesus Christ. And so whatever he did, he's a man of God. People come with all kinds of intentions that they want, uh, that they're looking for prayer. Um, thus, the why, why, why they are lighting candles, kind of as a reminder of that intention. Um, they can attend Mass here on a daily basis. Um, they can interact with the Franciscan friars who live here, uh, which I think is uh, the friars do draw a lot of people because of, I think, of the, the love and mercy that we tend to show to people who are looking for, for that sort of thing. They come to the shrine, I believe, to find peace. That's my understanding. That's what I find when I come here. A, a moment of grace, perhaps of healing, direction for their lives. Also, there's the peacefulness of the grounds, the, the little trip you take up the driveway takes you into a, a different space, a quieter space. There's the, the beauty, all season beauty of, of these surroundings, the, the, the forests, the fields, the silence. The, the contrast is so great that it can't help bring you into a prayerful space. I think uh, a shrine to St. Anthony is a shrine just like many other places. It's a place where we can come to show first and foremost our gratitude to our Lord for giving us the graces that we receive through St. Anthony's intercession. So oftentimes we'll, we'll say a prayer and we'll ask somebody for help and we'll ask an intercessor to pray for us. But how often do we say a thank you afterwards? So to have a place where you can actually go to and be able to even be touched by a physical relic of that saint, it brings a sense of connection to this saint that has been so important in so many people's lives. It has become very obvious to all of us friars that we could not succeed in our ministries and our, in leading our life without the help of these people who, who assist us through prayer and uh, through um, um, uh, their financial help. And so we, in response, realize we have a responsibility to them to uh, take their prayer requests very seriously and to pray every day and offer masses every day uh, that their prayers be answered because uh, they they come to us and it's sort of a mutual thing. We pray for them and, uh, and, and they uh, assist us. So um, it's sort of the communion of saints that we Catholics believe in. Uh, the life of the Franciscan is a life of prayer. And we not only pray for ourselves and the Franciscan order, but for everyone who sends in a prayer request by going to stanthony.org, um, you can send in a prayer request and ask us to light a candle for your intentions and for your needs. Um, we take that very seriously. Uh, it is our honor to hold you in prayer and to raise up your needs to, to our Almighty God who answers prayers. Um, life can be a struggle, um, but when we unite Nothing's impossible. And those candles that we light out here at our shrine remind us that nothing is impossible with prayer.
One of the great things about the shrine here is that we're one of the few churches that actually leaves its doors unlocked. Uh, pretty much from right before the sun comes up to when the sun goes down, you can come here and we want you to come here to bring your prayers if you just want a quiet place to pray. And we're here for you. This is a place for you and it's a universal church, right? So we want you to come here and you can walk the grounds, come here to pray, talk to us, but please come. God is inviting all of us into a deeper relationship. And when you come here to St. Anthony, you're able to get away from that noise and hear God's voice in your life. So come on over. When you walk on this ground, you know and you feel it's holy ground.